Hi everyone, this is For the Love of Comics and in this video we are going to be taking a quick look at three different renditions of Will Eisner's classic masked hero, The Spirit, done by people other than Will Eisner. If you're interested in The Spirit by Will Eisner and other comics by Will Eisner, check out our Will Eisner comics playlist linked above. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at The Spirit, a pop-up graphic novel adapted by Bruce Foster. Will Eisner's Spirit, The New Adventures, brought out by Kitchen Sink Comics, featuring a bevy of writers and illustrators tackling stories of the spirit across eight different issues. And the relaunch of the Spirit comic series, headed by Darwin Cook by DC Comics. I'll leave some timestamps in the description below so you can navigate as you wish. So without further ado, let's take a look at three different renditions of The Spirit by people other than Will Eisner. This pop-up graphic novel is adapted from a single seven-page story by Will Eisner, the introduction to the femme fatale sans serif. And although each of the panels and the artwork that you see within this is featured in that story, it's really the manner in which the design of a pop-up book has been applied to the panel work that the Spirit comic originally contained, to have certain things take on center stage, to have certain things unfold in a particular way, to have moment by moment move movement, climactic action, revelations and beats in dialogue, as well as using the time in a single panel broken up across two or three different pieces that really make this an interesting book. A pop-up book is generally thought of as something for children, but in using the original art of Will Eisner's story and adapting it to this medium gives it a unique texture. And while it's not the traditional kind of comics that we think of, it's a playful little object that uses, that uses the tactility of the form to give an additional dimension, literally, to something that we are quite familiar with. Even if you don't pursue pop-up books in general, I think this is a charming addition to any collection of the spirit. In 1998, Kitchen Sink Comics brought out Will Eisner's The Spirit, The New Adventures with the blessing and approval of Will Eisner. These eight comics collected a number of stories on the spirit done by a variety of writers and artists. And these stories really display a range of what Will Eisner's creation can inspire because they are of all different styles and genres and they all function sort of standalone. They don't depend on each other, but each one of them is definitely recognizable as the spirit, which means that Will Eisner's original series had so many dimensions and so many different styles and so many different approaches that all of these things are accommodatable. The Spirit Adventures were published on top quality paper for the time and even today is extremely impressive in its production quality. But the real charm obviously is to see master writers and artists tackling various aspects of this classic hero. The first issue contains three stories written by Alan Moore and illustrated by Dave Gibbons the team behind Watchmen and some great Green Lantern stories. And all three of these stories are thematically interlinked. The second issue contains three stories, one written by Neil Gaiman and illustrated by Eddie Campbell, the other written by James Vance and illustrated by Dan Burr, and the third story written by John Wagner, illustrated by Carlos Escuera. The Gaiman Campbell story, The Return of Mink Stoll, is also collected in the 75th anniversary edition of The Spirit by DC Comics. As you can see, no one story looks like the other which is really where the charm of this collection comes in. Issue number three featured another story by Alan Moore, this time illustrated by Daniel Torres, illustrations by Mobius, and another story by Bo Hampton and Mark Neese. This story by Moore and Torres is also collected in the 75th anniversary edition from DC Comics. Issue number four contains a story written by Kurt Busiek and illustrated by Brent Anderson, the team behind the excellent Astro City comics, as well as a story by Mark Schultz and David Lloyd, and one by Mark Allred and Friends. Issue number five of Spirit New Adventures is a full issue story. It's one story by Paul Chadwick and John Nyberg, The Case of the Cursed Beauty. Paul Chadwick writes and pencils this story, which is one of my favorites in the collection. Issue number six features stories by John Ostrander, Tom Mandrake, Scott Hampton, Mark Neese, and Tim Bradstreet. Issue number seven features Paul Pope, Jay Stevens, Eddie Campbell again, Gene Farmer, Dennis Eichhorn. And issue number eight, The Case of the Hanged Woman, is another full issue story, this time by Joe Lansdale and John Lucas. 
All eight issues of The Spirit, The New Adventures have been collected into one hardcover volume, which is completely worth checking out if you're interested in the range of talent involved in bringing new stories of the spirit to life. In 2007, DC Comics relaunched The Spirit as a regular series. Each issue contained mostly one full story of 22 pages, although there were some that had two or three stories collected in them. And these were, although a continuing series, standalone stories for the most. That is, there weren't really any cliffhangers or things that had four or five issue arcs. The characters and storylines, however, were consistent, so things that had happened before were referenced later and so on. But for the most, you could pick up any issue and just read it as you would Will Eisner's The Spirit. Before issue number one, DC Comics actually had Batman The Spirit, a one-shot crossover that introduced the spirit to the DC Universe. But in the regular series, it was very rare that the larger DC Universe of superheroes etc was referenced. This series was started by Darwin Cook on writing and art duties and he brought his signature retro cool style to The Spirit's storytelling ethos. And he was a perfect fit for this experimental yet two-fisted adventure series. All the spirit issues were on excellent quality paper with very heavy cardstock almost covers, not flimsy like most single issues are, and eventually featured a number of writers and artists on various stories. These stories have been collected into these trade paperbacks. This is volume one by Darwin Cook, volume two featuring stories again mainly by Darwin Cook, but from volume three and four onwards, you see Mark Evanier and Sergio Aragones of Groove fame taking over the writing duties. Batman the Spirit is collected in volume one and looking through the different volumes and seeing different creators bring their own spin to the spirit again reinforces what a versatile character and what a fantastic legacy Will Eisner had as far as style and substance and experimenting with form and narrative that people are simultaneously able to pay homage and do new things with the kind of setup that he has already created. And this series of The Spirit, more so than the kitchen sink uh, new adventures, are really good for new readers who want something modern and sleek and something that they're more used to and still would like a taste of what Will Eisner had introduced. So there you have it, some very different but equally entertaining takes on Will Eisner's classic The Spirit by Other People. I hope you enjoyed this quick look at these comics. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And as always, thank you for watching.